Hey guys, this is Manak, your Swill Bro. So today we will see how to design a mat footing in safe. So first of all, for designing a mat footing in safe, you need a model in ETAPS. So here is my model in ETAPS, fully designed model. So what you need to do is we need to export this model to safe, especially the base. Okay, so go to the base and go to file and go to your export and you can export uh, here you can see the option story as safe so select the base you can select the load cases select the load combination uh, make sure to select all the load combination as except any time history load or response spectrum load which you have created and then click on ok you can export the load combinations also you can create the load combination there also so no problems in that uh, just i uh, just uh, create the load combination there and click on ok and uh, say saving the file so we'll just uh, go save five and then click on save so work now for my ETABS is uh, has been completed. So let's close this. Save changes. Okay, yes. And then close the file. So once the file has been closed, I open the save and go to file. Click on import. Save F2K file. And I'll search for the file save F5 and open the file. So once I open the file, the first thing which I need to do is save the file. Because I want to save all the things which I want to do. So mat. Let's go mat here. I name this file mat and save here and after saving this file uh, we will simply define the things which we want materials we have to define it once again uh, this one uh, this one will just modify this this is uh, rebar so fe 550 and let's do this 550 and 550 so you can check this properties also from the internet and modify this this is m30 so do as per indian standards here okay you can keep the standard in the country you are working it no problems in that go to define and uh, you can define the next thing you can define the slab properties modify show property m30 and so you can mat will go with 450 depth of the mat footing and then click on ok and we will go to going to go next Reinforcing bar sizes, you can change the reinforcing bar sizes like for 8mm we don't want and uh, like add bar set so you can just uh, take this bars, delete the delete some bars, you can also clear and you know add bars yourself as well, add bar set, okay. this is the SI bar set, okay, uh, 6, 8, 10, okay, click on okay yes so then we go to uh, column properties so column properties you can take from the ETAG model so our column was 400, 400 if you have multiple columns you have multiple properties here and assign them separately but here we have only one type of column so just click on ok and go to define and then what you have soil subgrade properties so now this subgrade modulus is SBC divided by allowable settlement allowable settlement for uh, mat is 50 mm so 125 kN per meter square divided by 0 0.05 meter which equals uh, this calculation will be 25500 so we will just go 25500 kN per meter here and then click on ok and then click on ok once again and then we need to, need to define the load combinations we just add the default load combinations here if you want more economical design uh, by default you can create manual load combinations you can go to uh, load combinations and create load combinations add new combo and dead load live load like this you can take okay and uh, then you can just factor one as per the IS code you can make that uh, with a factor of one so that will be more economical but for just showing this video I am just keep doing this you can add the uh, manual <coughs> manually the unfactored load combinations for footing design and we have high factor of safety in the SBC okay so having said that then what you need to do is we need to create a mat so you can create a mat simply just take this rectangular slab areas okay how this works click here and then click here and end the click here okay so the slab will be simply created and we'll just uh, close this for now and uh, we'll select this slab okay slab has been selected go to edit and go to not selected I think go to edit okay just select sorry control set 
and click on escape if you want to get out of the slab once so that's why it was not selected so let's select the slab and go to edit and here go to edit areas and uh, go to expand or shrink areas so let's expand the area by let's say 450 mm and click on ok so now we'll add the columns here so select the columns and we'll simply add the columns here you can uh, for more other models you can just select one by one get click on the escape two times and for escaping from the you know column your column option okay so now you can select this one slab once again and you can assign your support data soil properties soil one okay so soil properties have been assigned load combinations have been defined columns have been defined and assigned slab has been assigned so next thing which you want to do is select the slab and go to edit and we can add the design strips so add design strips first of all we'll add design strips in the uh, x direction and name it a click on ok then again we'll go to edit and add design strips in the y direction and we'll call it b and click on ok so once this design strip has been added we'll go to detailing and we'll go to detailing preferences first so detailing preferences will be the metric okay and then we'll go to uh, design and design preferences design preferences will be as per uh, your country which you are now going, you are going with uh, in Indian IS uh, 456 okay so you can go with this one or you can go with your country code and minimum cover you can change this we can change this to 20 so you can do that okay and then you go to run and run analysis and design so first of all in analysis and design will show the displacement here pink is the maximum displacement and you can see then you have red then you have yellow then you have green if you hover over your mouse you can see the displacement here suppose the displacement in this place is uh, 0.14 minus in the negative in the downward direction obviously it will be in the downward direction the displacement so that's why you show reaction forces tabulated we want and we want fz mx and my which is responsible for the putting design you can see this is for the dead so load combinations let's see any one load combinations this was load combinations so you can see these are present so like this you can see display and now you can see show slab design so strip based layer a you can see apply just move this you can see top so minimum you know can just import the minimum reinforcement you can see the minimum reinforcement the top direction as well so minimum reinforcement will be there you can also go to run and run detailing so you can see the results better okay so once you get the run detailing the results will be better i'll just show you the model first and then in the model first and uh, uh, display display undeformed shape and then uh, display show slab design and then impose minimum re reinforcement and click on apply so here you can see the reinforcements okay the top and bottom and the layer a you can see and then in the layer b also you can see here and once you you want to see the detailing results you can simply go to detailing after running the detailing i will show you the, all the drawings drawings so drawing list okay general notes rebar shapes curtailment column strips slab views uh, slab views the framing plan this is the rebar plan okay rebar plan top and bottom both the rebar plan are shown here so top rebar plan and the bottom rebar plan you can see here and drawing sheet also you can see in the drawing sheet what is the section section 1 you can see section 1 and section 2 so the detailed drawings you can see here uh, let me let me show what other things you can see here you can see punching shear design also if less than one then it's okay so this is basically how you design the mat footing in safe so if you like this kind of content make sure you drop a like and if you want to ask anything do comment in the comment section thank you keep learning bye bye